Welcome to Boston Real Estate Times. Our guest today is Craig Samnia. I hope I spelled your name correctly. It was Craig. Good enough. Um, <laughs> and he is business development manager at Axis Communications, which is in the business of uh, uh, intercom and uh, security. We are going to talk to him about how this market has changed, especially when it comes to old, wonderful, uh, multifamily brick uh, buildings in, um, in, in Boston and anywhere else in the world. So uh, Craig, welcome to our show and thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Pandra, and thank you to Boston Real Estate Times for having us. Great. So what I think we should start with, if you can give us a quick update about what is happening in this marketplace and so that we can understand the context of our discussion in the future. Yeah, great. So um, maybe I'll, I'll start with a, a very short uh, introduction into who we are and what is happening in the marketplace with regards to intercoms. And, uh, and they're, they're, uh, they're intertwined. So 2N is a, um, and 2N is a uh, division of Axis Communications. Uh, Axis Communications for the Americas is headquartered in Chelmsford, Massachusetts, just, so just outside of Boston. Mm -hmm. Axis is the world leader in IP cameras. So 2N is the leader in IP intercoms, and it's a 30-year-old company um, headquartered in Prague, the Czech Republic, but selling globally. Um, the intercom space has changed dramatically over the last five to seven years. It's moving from an uh, antiquated analog technology world to a up-to-date digital IP network world. And 2N, again, being a leader in IP intercoms, we're helping lead that change from old to new. And the reason it's changing is that there are so many more features and benefits that go with an IP network product than what you used to have with an analog product. And analog products, when you think of that, think of telephones 30 years ago and the lack of uh, functionality out of those types of products. Um, from, a, uh, from a security standpoint, intercoms now play a significant role in securing and vetting people coming and going from schools, from uh, apartment buildings, from commercial buildings, industrial plants, anywhere where you need to vet people before you let them into a facility, intercoms can play a vital role. So in, in the old days, and not so long ago, and most people still think of intercoms as just a convenience device of talking from the kitchen to the family room or from one side of the wall to the other. Today, they're part of a, a well thought out security solution. So now also the word of intercom has also changed because as we have gotten more used to online, ordering online things and so many deliveries coming to our doors and steps. So I'm sure the demand is much higher for your for business today. Uh, absolutely. And um, uh, one of the things we're talking about here today is a, an application with urban property management in the Boston area. They're uh, a property management company. They uh, manage hundreds of different buildings throughout uh, Boston, high rises, brand new high rises to, uh, to mid-market uh, condominiums to uh, very expensive brownstones these days. Uh, so we recently did a, uh, an installation with four of their buildings uh, through our partner Advanced Network Connections uh, out of uh, Easton, Massachusetts. Uh, they had an issue and their issue was their technology was old and the tenants in their buildings, four of these buildings, um, wanted to upgrade to a more secure solution. They wanted to be able to view who they were letting into their buildings as opposed to just talking on the other end of a, an analog product. Um, so we worked, with, um, we worked with Urban and we worked with uh, our partner, uh, Advanced Networks, and we defined exactly what they wanted out of uh, their solution. First of all, they wanted to do away with the old product because it was failing. The buttons were failing, the audio was poor. Again, they had no video um, and there was no way to integrate that solution into other solutions that they wanted to add to their building, such as video cameras throughout the property. So um, 
we spec'd out a, a solution for them. Uh, they wanted to, to do all the things they couldn't do today. They wanted the latest technology. They wanted to integrate in um, access control into the intercom solution. They wanted to have a video solution. Um, and they wanted to, as much as possible, future-proof the application so that it could evolve with time and they could add new, um, new parts to the solution as new, uh, new demands came up. So, um, so we were able to uh, come up with a solution. I have the solution right here. If, uh, I'll, I'll show it to you. Yeah, sure. Uh, so here is the Verso that they installed, if you can see it. Mm -hmm. This is a two module intercom. They actually installed a three module, so it had another module to it. The, uh, the brains and the camera and the audio is in the head unit. And then they put in a module here, which is a virtual touch screen. Mm -hmm. And it allows them to have a, a phone book where you could have, it's hard to see there, you could have 10,000 users, you can scroll through and find the user, or you could touch the bottom of the screen and bring up a pin pad where someone could put in a pin code to open the door. They also wanted to add in other access control, so they added the third module, and that was an RFID module, which is uh, a reader like you have in a, a hotel or a, an office building where you have a card or a key fob where the tenant could swipe that on the uh, device and open the door and they could hand out key fobs or pin codes to people, workmen who regularly come to the building or delivery people just to make it more convenient uh, who, who was coming into the building and how they got there. All of the access logs who entered would be kept right in the device as well. One of the keys for this installation was there were historical brownstones and they didn't want to tear up all the walls by having to cable throughout the building. So they chose to go with a, uh, an answering solution which was designed on their smartphones. Mm -hmm. So they would just load our app on their smartphone, this is it. It's very simple, it's got just a couple buttons so it's very intuitive how to use and you would receive the phone call video, two-way audio, and door control, opening the door, right from your smartphone from anywhere in the world. This so thing, now, yeah. uh, Craig, my, my, my question to you is that, uh, sure, and, and that's why when you were talking about these brown stones, I was wondering, say for example, if you go at the Beacon Hill today in, in Boston, and you have all these beautiful buildings, multifamily, also some office buildings. And so my question is immediately going to be that, do you have to dig some holes and wiring and all those things? You don't need any of those things. You can you skip them completely. Yep, it makes it very simple. If by installing this, all they needed to do was run power to it and one PoE cable to the unit. We do, however, if you can't uh, run a PoE cable to the front door, we have an LTE version, a cellular version of that. Mm -hmm. So all you need is 12 volt power, which is available everywhere. So you would have you would run no cabling in that time. For their installation, again, they went with the mobile uh, app, uh, and there was no cabling to the apartments. Now many people will install a fixed answering device, which I have here. This would be mounted in the apartments themselves. You could do it through Wi-Fi or through a uh, Cat5 PoE cable. Mm -hmm. Either way. And that could be your fixed answering uh, device and then have a mobile device as well or, or one or the other. Yep. So, uh, so now this is a perfect um, a fit for, you know, the multifamily and, you know, other uh, type of living facilities. Uh, do you also use the same technology for the commercial buildings? Yeah, um, uh, great question. We have, we have seven different families of intercoms. Uh, so we have a solution for any application in the intercom space. The Verso, which I just showed you, is great for office buildings because it has the virtual touch screen. You can scroll through by, uh, by uh, a bill, um, uh, company inside of the, uh, the high rise and then people, you could seg segment the, uh, the database base that way. Um, but we have other products too. Um, so uh, we have ruggedized products, such as in, the MD, in an MDU high rise, commercial or apartment, uh, you'll have many different applications for intercoms. The front and back door are obvious. 
but there's also a common area, say for the pool area, where maybe you only want to have access control. Or in the parking garage, at the gate, to open the gate, you want to have an intercom there. It has different needs. It needs to be super ruggedized. Maybe you want to incorporate in Bluetooth. So as you approach the gate in your car, it'll automatically open the gate up. There's emergency call boxes that could be set up in the parking garage or around the, uh, uh, the, the premise. So all kinds of different applications for commercial and education as well as uh, MDU apartments. Uh, can you also integrate some uh, security apps? Or how, how, how does this work with a building security system? Yep, great, great. So um, all of our platforms are built on open integration, which means we adhere to all the industry standards um, so that we integrate with all the third, uh, third party applications that are out there. If it's a security panel or if it's an access control system, or a VMS, a video management system, or even the telephony system, the phone system in the building, we'll integrate seamlessly with all, all of those. And that, we find that is one of the, the critical points. Um, there's a lot of manufacturers out there that don't do that, but in the end, the end user, the building manager, they really wanna have one solution for their building, or they wanna have multiple solutions that all talk to one another. And that's, we're able to achieve that. Okay, so when we talked about uh, multifamily, we talked about uh, the office uh, context. What about if you look at some large, big manufacturing facilities or industrial um, uh, buildings, so big retail giant um, uh, storage facilities? Yeah, um, uh, we, we, we do those all over the place. Everything from uh, huge government bases, so uh, army bases to to oil refineries, uh, the steel plants. Uh, we have intercoms on factory lines uh, that are producing steel, so they're used for communication as well as emergency shutdowns. Uh, you can, the programmability in a networked device is really unlimited. Taking it back to the MDU uh, situation here, something you can program into our intercoms is a motion and uh, and voice detection. So if there's a lot of loud noise, say at 1 a.m. Uh, outside the door, you can turn, you can have it programmed to send an alarm, send an email, to turn on lights, to uh, send a message out to, to get the people away from the building. All kinds of things can be done, uh, again, with today's- uh, So my, my next question is, uh, uh, Craig, is uh, say if you are in a very high density, uh, urban setting and your system is outside there's a lot of you know cars passing by there's a lot of traffic so how does how good quality of the sound you have yeah it's a it's a critical feature um because the basic uh, features of the intercoms are to communicate so we've uh, we've engineered that into all of our devices we have noise cancellation we have echo cancellation we have uh the speaker uh volume is set and can be programmed at, uh, at different uh, values. So we have these, uh, these uh, intercoms installed in urban settings, in rural settings. We have them at truck gates where uh, big uh, 18 wheelers are pulling up and it's super loud. So, um, so we, again, we have, uh, we have it built into the technology and we have different models to, uh, to take care of any need that you're going to run into. Okay. Now, Craig, my last question is that, as you know, that technology is changing so rapidly in every sector, every area you can, you can take off. How adaptable is your uh, uh, technology for the future growth and uh, evolution? Yeah, uh, it, it's a great question. It's one that comes up often because uh, uh, there's a big in investment when putting in a, a system like this and they want to, end users and uh, building managers, they want to ensure that their investment's going to last into the future. So we've designed our product uh, a couple of fold. One, as I mentioned earlier, we're open. We integrate with all the third party solutions out there and we adhere to all the industry standards. So as new solutions come up that wanna be integrated into the building, we will integrate into that, uh, to that solution now and into the future. On our Verso as an example, it's a modular product. So people we find, uh, uh, install the Verso with, with the functionality they need today, with the modules they need, 
but in the future, it's changed. Their, their, their needs change, and they have the ability to simply change out the modules, add more modules if they wish, and then change the functionality to meet the, the new needs that they have. So um, as much as something can be uh, future-proofed, uh, uh, we think we've uh, achieved that with, uh, with our product line. Okay. Now, before I let you go, can you also talk a little bit about, about uh, the cost, the price of your products? Yeah, um, um, and, and they're all published. Our MSRPs are published. We are, uh, I would say, we are very competitive from a hardware standpoint. We're not the cheapest in the market. We're not the most expensive. But when you look at the total cost for that specific installation, you have to look at the hardware cost. You have to look at the installation cost and then the maintenance. We have the highest quality of any manufacturer in the industry. So the maintenance ex is extremely low. Our installation costs are the lowest in the industry because it's super simple. It's one cable, POE, plug and play, and you're good to go. And then again, our, our hardware cost is very competitive. So the overall cost of the installation is among the lowest in the industry. Okay, can you put a number there? Or? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, uh, for, this, uh, for this type of installation right here, um, with the uh, virtual touch screen and the Verso and the frame and all that, MSRP, you're talking about $1,600, something along those lines. Okay. And what about the installation fee? Plus the inst instant. Yeah, it, it varies. I, I would leave that up to my our partners, the advanced network connections. Um, but um, um, so I, I would check with uh, I, one of the one of the best practices going forward, I would say, is make sure you find a partner, an integration partner that knows this area, knows this technology. If you do, that'll save yourself time, money, and headache going forward. Okay. So now, for example, if I install this, your product in, in, in one multifamily, how many units can be connected with that? Uh, unlimited amount. Unlimited yeah. amount. Unlimited okay. amount. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Greg, thank you very much for your time and it was a pleasure talking to you. Great. 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 Thank you very much. Time. Great being here. Excellent. Perfect.